guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been wearing my hair like this, I feel like, pretty much every other video. My hair, most of the time, is greasy and dirty. I only wash it once a week, so the longer I can go without washing it, the better, and obviously, I still want it to look good. Can't just wear a baseball hat every single day. I'm filming, taking photos. So I've been wearing my hair like this and honestly, I've been loving it. So I wanted to show you guys today how I do this hairstyle as well as two other variations that you can do like the bun part. So I hope you guys are excited and maybe you learned something from this video. Before we get started, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I'll definitely be sure to link all the products that I'm gonna be using today down in the description box. My Instagram, Poshmark, TikTok, camera details, presets, alpha details, all that great stuff is also gonna be linked down below. And let's go ahead and get into the video. I am extremely sorry for the state of my hair right now. It's been <laughs> greasy for days and I already did it this style a few times this week. So that's why it's just looking literally wet at the top, but let's get the ponytail together first. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out where your part is gonna be. I like my part in the middle, and I'm gonna just use this comb to get like that perfect part down the middle. So I actually learned how to do this like off duty model look, however you wanna call it, from another girl here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and leave the link to her video down below just cause I wanna give credit where credit is due. But I had been trying to perfect this for so long and I could never get it right until I watched her tutorial and I was like, oh, mind blown. So next I'm gonna use some kind of a product to just kind of like <laughs> slick it grease it, however you wanna say. Um, I don't have any like gel for this type of look, but I do have this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Protective Hair Balm. This is actually a product that you can use to protect your hair from the sun, but it works really well as like a slicking agent, but you can use any old like gel something to like slick your hair, like literally the cheapest product if you want it to. And I'm just gonna kind of work it into my hair. Now I'm going to take just this little paddle brush that I have. I like this because it has the bristles in it that just make it really, really easy to like pack my hair, slick it really nicely. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first start your ponytail by combing it back. Now that I've got everything nice and slicked back, I'm gonna keep working my ponytail up because I like it a little bit higher on my head. And this is the first time I'm gonna brush back, so you definitely don't wanna touch like your part area here. But I'm gonna grab from the back, do you see how I did that? Just all these spots that are kind of sticking up strangely. Okay, I think I feel pretty good about that. And then a fun little trick, if you guys have any like flyaways or hairs that are doing weird things, you can use like a little balm like this. It's basically like a hair glue stick. This is the Kristen S Anytime Anywhere Recovery Balm. And I just use it literally like a glue stick. And I just kind of like work it into any areas where I have like random flyaways. And it helps like grease everything down even more. Okay, and that's our ponytail. It's not perfect. I've got some like little bumps up here, but I almost feel like it looks a little better if you're not trying to be absolutely perfect because then it looks a little bit more like off duty. I just threw my hair up. Didn't take much work at all. <laughs> so obviously you could leave it like that if you wanted to, just go in with a ponytail. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways that I like to style it 
with a clip and two different types of buns. So the first little bun that I'm gonna show you guys is probably the easiest, like most straightforward. So we're just gonna do like a little twisted bun. So I'm just gonna take my hair, twist it like so, and just wrap it around my ponytail. I wrapped it once, I'm gonna wrap it again. Like so. And then I'm just gonna leave the ends out. You can of course, you know, continue the bun so you have no like ends hanging out, but I think it looks cute like that, so I leave them out. And then I'm just gonna take a little elastic and secure my bun. Ooh, not like that. The next thing I'm gonna do is just kind of secure the bun in place. Sometimes you have some like weird separation on the bottom of the bun and the top where just the elastic is. So I just take little bobby pins and just kind of pin it in place. And then if you got any like weird hair sticking out, you can just use your little glue stick. Just chill them out. I try to get all of these hairs back here, but I have so many little baby hairs. <laughs> Even this like glue stick is a little bit rough with getting them. So who cares? It doesn't have to look perfect. And here is our first little bun. I think it is so cute. Definitely really easy to do once you get the hang of it. I just think it looks so chic and just so easy. Next, I wanna show you guys a look that's kind of based on my bun for my wedding, but it's a little bit more off-duty model kind of vibes. Definitely not as like clean and pretty and put together. So basically what you're gonna do is just braid your ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just need some kind of braid. And I like to puff the braid so it's nice and big. And then I'm just gonna use a small elastic to hold it in place. Now I'm gonna take my braid and just wrap it around the ponytail. And then when I get it to a place that I kind of like it, I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and pin it in place. Like the first bun, I have like a couple little pieces sticking out from the end of the braid, but I'm just gonna pin the bun in place just kind of like where I want it. Make sure it stays put. And then you can use your little hair glue stick to kind of like tame any flyaways in your braid, or you can just leave them, let it look messy. But this is the look. I think the braid just adds something very like chic and sophisticated to the look. I like the little pieces sticking out. I feel like it adds just a little bit of playfulness. And then once again, kind of like that thought, like, oh no, I meant it to be messy. <laughs> so yeah, that is the braided look. And obviously you could do your bun a little bit higher, more on top of your head so you can see the bun and the braid a little bit more. But either way, I think it looks very, very chic. Next, let's move on to a claw clip. So I've got this little one here from Casa Clara, I think is the brand. I got it off Revolve. I'll definitely link it for you guys. So all I do is I just kind of do a very loose, messy kind of bun. I just twirled around one time around the ponytail. And then I just take a claw clip and just clip it in. And that's what it looks like. Super easy, you look like very put together from the front and then it's a little bit more fun in the back. Still feels very casual and like 90s supermodel vibes. I think it's really fun. All right, you guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pretty straightforward, not like the most complicated hair tutorial in the world, but this is just the perfect way for me to get the like longest life out of my hair 
before I have to wash it again. If it's looking greasy, might as well add more grease to it and make it look chic all the while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.